Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a animation play when you use a tool. Like when you click a tool, pretty much every time you click while you have a tool equipped, this animation will play and stuff. This was suggested by one of my subscribers, formerly Mark. So shout out to him. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Before I do, I just want to thank you guys for 627 subscribers and stuff. I know it's been minutes. I thank y'all. I just want to let y'all know I do record a lot of my videos like weeks to like a month ahead of time so like when y'all are seeing this because like i'm recording this right now march 19th when y'all are seeing this it's like the second week of april it's like the end of the first week of april like the second week of april we're, we're not we're only halfway through march right now so that just want to leave on this why it's like a little different because by then we're gonna be at like 650 but now we're at 630 pretty much so yeah i just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support but yeah let's get straight into it Okay, so this is very similar to my animation video that I made a while ago. If you've seen it with the how, how to bind an animation to a key. The first things first, let's go ahead and take care of the remote event. Let's go into replicated storage in the explorer tab and insert a remote event. We are going to rename it to <coughs> animation event, right? Call this animation event. You're going to insert a server script into server script service. And then you can call this um, animation uh animation script and then in parentheses put server this is the server side handler i guess we'll, we'll call it delete print hello world and then you guys want to insert a tool into starter pack you can make sure that requires handle is not checked and you can just leave it as tool you can leave this to it doesn't matter the name doesn't really matter and then insert a local script and you can you guys can rename this to animation script local or client actually or clients yeah delete print hello world on both of them and yeah first thing first we're going to, need to make a variable on both local animation events for the remote event we're going to be using game that replicated storage the animation event you guys can copy and paste this on both sides so we're pretty much going to want to do this the the local script is simple all we're doing is literally script dot parent dot activated which means every time a player clicks while the tool is uh equipped this will happen colon connect function close parentheses enter animation event colon buyer server bam just like that we are finished with animation scripts that simple right and then we come here and then we say local animation is equal to instance dot new parentheses we're going to put animation and then we're going to say animation dot animation id is equal to I believe it's RBX asset ID colon no 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 back uh I think it's like the, hold on let me just look at it real quick hold on uh, one second guys uh, colon back to back to back to okay yeah, okay I did have it right okay okay I needed to get my ID anyway so yeah here we go because yeah I always forget how to do this but I guess I did it right so anyway um well except for this this is supposed to be lowercase i apparently but anyway um yeah so once we have our animation then we simply do animation event dot on server event colon connect function in parentheses put plr which is short for the player and enter we need to get the character by doing local character is equal to game dot workspace find colon find first child player dot name press enter and then we're going to say local humanoid. We're going to get the humanoid as well. Local, char local character dot, oh, sorry. Local character dot humanoid. Then local animation track is equal to humanoid load. This one not autofill, by the way. Load animation, animation, then animation track play and there we go we have finished i believe we yeah okay we should be good but anyway um make sure you change this id to whatever uh animation you're using and stuff if you want to test to make sure you actually did the script right and everything then i would use this id because keep in mind just a disclaimer a lot of people have issues with animation videos and stuff like that because they think sometimes the problem is with the script but really the problem is your animation either wasn't published correctly or you set the animation priority wrong but don't ask me no question about animations i just know a few things not like i really know anything about it but yeah we can go ahead and test this uh you guys will see like a weird animation i made a while ago let's not talk about it but anyway yeah 
There you go. As you guys can see, the animation plays every time I left click. Now, obviously, if I don't have the tool selected and I left click, nothing happens. Y'all can hear it. I'm not. Nothing's happening. But if I select it, boom, animation plays. So yeah, it's that simple. As always, the scripts will be in the description, so you guys can always reference them there. If you need help, leave. I'm mean, sorry. If you need help, join the Discord server. The link is in the description. Uh, we're on our way to 200 members. You guys can also join the Roblox group because we're about to hit 50 members. And also for sure, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys.